So whenever I'm rebuilding VMAX carbs, um, due to, uh, you know, not that I do it a lot, but due to my meticulous nature, uh, people would from time to time show up with VMAX and Magna carburetors to be rebuilt, usually after someone else rebuilt them and they don't work right. Um, you know, the, the bike still runs like crap or whatever. Uh, but whenever I'm doing it, I don't know if you notice, a lot of people don't use these. I've seen, you know, just from what I've seen, I, I can't speak for everybody. Uh, it comes with new needle seats. Now, if you've ever taken one of these apart, and I'll show it to you when I get it apart, I'll make another video, I think. But uh, the needle seats are inserted through the top of these plugs. See these plugs? That's the other side of those is where the needle seats are. You push them through that way. They don't come out from the inside. You have to push them out that way. Which means you have to remove these plugs. Um, now how do you guys do it? I know how I do it, but I'm curious how you guys do it. Because maybe I'll find a better way. Um, and I'll show you how I do that too. I personally don't like hammering on stuff, especially these car bodies, because they're hard to find. Um, so I have a way to remove these plugs. It destroys the plugs, so I always order new plugs with new O-rings. Another reason I do that is you would want to replace the O-ring in here anyway. Pull this plug off, there's an O-ring in there that seals this plug. Why put it back? It's so stupid to do. Just like why reuse this fuel line that's old enough to vote you know same like this this fuel line could be a bartender um so we're not reusing that uh anyway tell me what you guys do to pull these or replace this